hello everyone in this video we can check uh, how nifty has performed today and uh, how bank nifty performed today is there any chances for market reversal from here and uh, there are some updates about the us federal reserve meetings and uh, will that impact uh, our indian market and the uh, financial year's budget is coming soon on uh, february 1st uh, how will that impact our uh, indian markets let's check all but before that make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon for instant notifications so guys uh, this is the nifty daily chart and uh, today there was a huge volatility there was a gap down today and nifty fallen more uh, but still it managed to recover in after the first one hour one and a half hour of the market uh, as you can see uh, this is the candle that has been formed uh, this is kind of a uh, indecisive candle uh, but still uh, the global queues are looking very good today uh, you can see uh, all of the european markets and american market in, is in a positive zone us federal reserve uh, meeting has come to an end they have informed that uh, they have not yet decided about the interest rate hikes and uh, they are just modifying their uh, monetary policies and uh, they are expecting the inflation to get down by this year end so the final decision they have made is uh, they have not decided yet on the interest rate hikes even if the interest rate hike is there uh, they are expecting it to be around uh, 0.25 percentage only so that is not going to impact much and uh, we may see good movements in the market uh, near future so if you check uh, nifty's chart again uh, 16900 was a minor support before but uh, continuously for uh, two days it has taken good support near that zone so 16900 is uh, getting out to be a good support we can expect the market to go up tomorrow and uh, sgs nifty and SGX Nifty is indicating about uh, 48 points gap up as of now. So still we have to wait for the end of the day. And uh, as of Bank Nifty, it was again a huge bullish candle. But uh, in Bank Nifty also there was a huge gap down. And then it managed to sustain that gap down. And uh, that particular opening point was acting as a good support today. Uh, there was a steep rise in Bank Nifty with uh, most of the banks has been... Uh, reporting a good quarterly results and uh, the several other quarterly results came today but before that uh, let's check FAI and DA activity as you see the FAI has sold for about uh, 6266 crores and uh, DA has bought about uh, 2800 crores for second continuous day the FAI has sold for more than about uh, 5000 crores on uh, Tuesday it was around uh, 7400 crores and today it is around uh, 6300 crore so they are selling hugely and uh, we can expect the market to fluctuate due to that if you switch to 15 minutes time frame uh, this is where bank nifty opened and then it had a fall and then after uh, 12 30 12 45 it had a steep price in there so we can expect these kinds of market in the near future and uh, i want the market to be in a sideways trend for two three days so let's now check uh, US markets chart and uh, as you can see this is the chart of Nasdaq and uh, it opened up with a small gap down and then it fall more and then it has recovered beautifully and uh, it is now uh, trading at around uh, $174 which is a good sign and, and if by the end of the day this candle is going to be green we are in for a treat tomorrow. Uh, so if you see the Dow Jones future of US. Uh, it has been trading positively from the start uh, there is a gap down but still uh, that gap down uh, acting as a support for today in uh, Dow Jones same like uh, what uh, Nifty Bank has done today so there are about uh, six major results that came out today let's check out that the first result is about uh, Indus Towers they have posted a profit of about uh, 1570 crores and uh, and it is just a uh, one percentage above the previous quarter but uh, 60 percentage above uh, the year on year quarter so we can expect a positive candle tomorrow but still uh, technically this support zone has been broken and uh, it is approaching this uh, second support zone there 
so if there is a fall also we can have this uh, 237 as a good support range so the next important stock is uh, punjab national bank they have posted a good profit of about uh, 1126 crores uh, which is uh, just two percentage uh, greater than the previous quarter but also it is uh, 123 percentage greater than its uh, year on year quarter and uh, today also it has formed a good green candle and yesterday i have mentioned this stock in our video so we can expect the market to be bullish for uh, punjab national bank so the next important stock is coforge and they have posted a profit of about uh, 183.7 crores which is uh, 34 percentage higher than their previous quarter so we may see a good rise in the price of uh, coforge share tomorrow uh, but still uh, we have to wait for the market trend uh, if nifty is going down uh, the stock may also go down the next stock is uh, laros labs laros labs kind of formed a hammer pattern but this is not exactly hammer pattern there is a steep rise after a good fall today so the laros labs uh, profit is about 155 crores and uh, in last year uh, they have posted about the loss of uh, 43.2 crores so this is a good sign for uh, Loris Labs. The next stock is uh, BHEL. Uh, BHEL has uh, posted a profit today. The previous quarter it was a uh, loss of 45.9 crores and uh, year on year uh, it was about uh, 218 crores loss. And this quarter they have posted about a profit of uh, 27 crores which is a good sign. And technically also BHEL is in uh, trendline support. So we can see a good rise in BHEL. And the last major result was with uh, RBL Bank. Technically this stock broke the support trend line and then it came up and then it again came down. Uh, but uh, today it has entered about the support zone and it has exactly touched the support zone. So they have posted a profit of about 156 crores which is 400% uh, percentage higher than uh, what they have done in previous quarter. So these are the major results guys, uh, some 2-3 stocks are looking bullish for me in these results itself. Uh, I am waiting for the trend of uh, market tomorrow, if the market trend is negative uh, I am going to sit quiet. Although we have to wait for the financial budget uh, this year. It is coming out on uh, February 1st and people are expecting some good points for uh, electronic vehicle sector, uh, FMCG good sector and uh, new age startups. Uh, so you have to wait for what the budget is coming out with uh, let's check that on uh, february 1st till that it is better to watch the market than uh, entering any stocks so that's it for the video guys uh, let's catch up tomorrow but before that make sure you are subscribed to the channel and uh, we are having a free telegram group where we are posting uh, stock market news instant updates you can make use of that too i'll leave the link in description thank you